What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Cherry L, Boxed Off Forum. You know, I'm back at y'all with another one. This one's going to be a bit saucy. Anyway, they all are saucy right now in the boxing world. We're back in the heavyweight boxing. Um, first of all, shouts out to Next Phase Fitness, who is sponsoring this podcast. Also, Planet Organic. Also, BoxFit UK. Also, my main man, Doug Fuku, over at REKA, Rika Property Management. Shouts out to all those of the above, all of the above. Much love to y'all. Here we go. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you do know that Deontay Wilder has won his arbitration to fight a rematch for Tyson Fury 3. Now, in terms of what's going to happen, well, apparently... Tyson Fury has accepted that the arbitration is in his favor of of Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder pretty much refused to take the step aside money. There were reports that the step aside money was as much as an absorbent amount of money, like $20 million. Um, uh, It still isn't clear whether Tyson Fury offered it or whether Deontay Wilder asked for that, but whatever happened, Tyson Fury has pretty much refused to pay any step aside money. Now, that means if Tyson Fury goes ahead and extends the hand of love and accepts the challenge or accepts the fight, the proposed fight between Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia, August 14th, is now off. And apparently, as opposed, as you know, according to one day ago, that's pretty much a done deal. The fight is off between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. There's the war of words. Anthony Joshua's calling Tyson Fury a fraud. Uh, Deontay Wilder saying he's going to get his belt back and knock out Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury said, I'm going to beat Deontay Wilder better and easier this time around than the first time we fought. So on and so forth. The war of words is starting and flowing between the three fighters. Now, what is seemingly uh, certain is a Tyson Fury fight with De- um, Anthony Joshua is not going to happen, which means that the date for the Deontay Wilder fight is pretty much going to be set. Now, Bob Arum, who is in the U.S., who decides uh, or who pretty much promotes Tyson Fury in America or is his American promoter, has pretty much gone as far as sta- uh, choosing a stadium, a 70,000-seat stadium in Las Vegas, which would seem like that would be the um, now the Las Vegas Raiders uh, seat because the Raiders are now in Vegas as opposed to being in California. They moved from Oakland. What used to be called the Oakland Raiders is now the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, stay with me because I know it's very confusing if you live in abroad and you don't live in America. You probably don't understand how can a team move from one state to the next and still maintain to be called the Raiders or their name and how does that even work? But don't even get confused with that. that that's not even important right now. What's important is there is seemingly a date that's been thrown around that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder could fight as soon as June 24th or the latter part of June. That's yet to be decided, but Bob Arum is currently searching for uh, venues to host his fight. So in a nutshell, one fight is off, another fight is going to be on, but one way or another, we are going to have a heavyweight fight this summer probably a lot sooner than we anticipated. Um, Let me know your thoughts about this. I mean, would you like to see a Tyson Fury Wilder 3? And do you care to watch it? Would you watch it? Would you pay to watch it? Um, Another bit of news that's pretty interesting that you all should know about. I've been doing a little bit more digging in this fight as to why uh, the fight was even granted, the the Wilder Fury 3. Now, as you know, there was a, um, a clause in the uh, contract between Wilder and Fury after the second fight, which we all know Fury won that fight pretty convincingly. And there was a clause that had to be exercised by Wilder. Now, the judge of arbitration has ruled that because of the pandemic, Wilder didn't really have, couldn't really exercise that clause because of the pandemic, which to some extent is BS because you know, USC fights have been staged throughout the pandemic. Uh, soccer stadiums have been or half empty or soccer games have been going on around Europe. Uh, American football matches, basketball, and the NBA has been playing throughout the pandemic. So I'm not sure why boxing has been given a, 
a pass on this one. There's been other boxing matches during the pandemic. You know, uh, uh, who fought recently in the pandemic, a uh, big name, um, Earl Spence Jr. fought in the pandemic, just to give one big name. Um, we know that Tyson, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones fought uh, exhibition match during the pandemic. And that was granted by the Boxing Commission. So there's been several examples how sporting events have happened during a pandemic. So I'm not quite buying that. However, judge of arbitration ruled in favor of Deontay Wilder. So that's why that fight has been taking place. Another thing to understand is the second fight between Wilder and Fury lost money. There wasn't that many uh, views. It was less than a million views, something like 800,000 pay-per-view views or pay-per-view uh, viewers on that particular fight. So in that sense, uh, we know that Tyson Fury and Wilder made a lot of money in that fight. And apparently there's word that Wilder made as much as $30 million in the second fight. And Tyson Fury made a ton of money himself. But as a result, that fight didn't really make money. So because it didn't make money, there was a pressing need for this fight to go ahead. Now, as a result, the fight is gonna go ahead and we'll see whether or not this fight makes money. However, we know the fighters will get paid a ton of money. That's my take on the fight. That's my take on what's happened. So my question to you guys is, would you want to see Tyson Fury Wilder 3? And if so, who are you picking in this? Do you even care? Let me know what you think. Hit the like and subscribe button, holler back. Let me know what you think. Man, I'm out with another one, but you know, the story of boxing continues. And as you know, my mission continues. I'm going to keep the content rolling. Holler back. Peace.